Welcome to 52 Questions. I'm Shannon Weber, Director of Hive. Every year, Hive answers hundreds of questions from patients, their partners, and providers. And each week in 2018, we're bringing one of those frequently asked questions to you in video format. For this week's question, I come to talk with one of our collaborators, Dr. Diana Coffey, who's an expert in addiction medicine for people um, during pregnancy. She's based at UCSF, the Department of Family and Community Medicine. And the question that I have for you is, is our methadone and buprenorphine safe during pregnancy and breastfeeding? The answer is actually very simple. It's yes, mm -hmm. they are absolutely safe. In fact, they're recommended in pregnancy and during breastfeeding for people who use opioids. We know that if somebody's been using opioids um, irregularly or from the streets, when they become pregnant, they're at risk of having a baby that's born early or having a baby that comes out not as healthy as they want. When somebody starts methadone or buprenorphine in pregnancy, it reduces the risk of an early birth, it reduces the risk of having a baby that's smaller than expected, and it helps us just have healthier babies. It also helps us have healthier moms. So a mom who starts buprenorphine or methadone during pregnancy enters recovery and it develops the capacity really to be the kind of mom that most people want to be when they have a baby. So it sounds like they're both viable and good options during pregnancy and breastfeeding, so how do you decide? Yeah. And is that a patient decision or a clinician decision or how does that get sorted out? Yeah. So they're both really good choices and there aren't clear medical reasons to choose one or the other. They both have pros and cons. Mm -hmm. um, so what we really recommend is working with patients to help patients identify what are your values, what are the things that are important to you in a medication, and then choose the medication based on the patient's values. So for example, uh, methadone has been found to keep women in care a little bit better than buprenorphine, so people who struggle with addiction mm -hmm. may be more likely to stay in recovery on methadone than on buprenorphine. But buprenorphine has been found to have slightly uh, less opioid withdrawal for the newborn. Uh, so the newborn has an easier time potentially after birth in those first couple weeks as it goes through the opioid withdrawal syndrome. And so some people will prefer the buprenorphine to kind of reduce the risk and the severity of opioid withdrawal syndrome. Now, I do want to add, people have a lot of fear about newborn opioid mm. withdrawal syndrome. I want to add that it's something we can absolutely treat. Babies can get through it just fine. And we have not found that neonatal opioid withdrawal is associated with cognitive problems or developmental problems or behavioral problems in children as they get older. So, so although we would like to avoid it when we can, when it happens, it's okay, we can treat it and we can have healthy babies and healthy families. Wow, thank you, this is so much good news. Um, and thank you for joining us. Tune in next week where I'll answer the question, what is sperm washing and how can it help men living with HIV to have a baby? Have a good week.